Thank you, Governor Brown, for the warm welcome. And thank you, Jim, for always being in my corner. And thank all of you for joining my family as I accept the honor of becoming Oregon's 28th Secretary of State. Welcome to my fourth grade classroom in Dufer. I was eight years old when homelessness, disguised by a loving father as a camping trip, brought my family here to Dufer in Wasco County a small farming town of about 600 people. After spending the summer camping and staying with a family from our church, my dad rented a small house here in town. And by the time I landed in this classroom in fourth grade, I was a 10-year-old kid who was losing hope. In fourth grade, I first discovered my mom's battle with drug addiction, and my dad was really struggling to raise three kids by himself. This was Mr. Wagner's classroom, and I caused a lot of trouble in here. But Mr. Wagner's response? He invited me to join an after-school chess club. We would play every day right over there. And that spring, I traveled from this room to Portland and became an Oregon State chess champion. I'll never forget the way that I felt walking out of that tournament in Portland. My older brothers, who were normally picking on me, were hoisting my trophy over their heads and chanting, my sister's the champion. For the first time, I knew that it didn't matter that I didn't have everything that other kids had, that I was going to be okay. A moment like that, hope like that, a teacher like that, a teacher like Mr. Wagner can change a life, and he did. So that's why instead of standing in our beautiful and historic state capitol, I chose to stand here in this historic place to become your Secretary of State. Over the past year during my campaign for this office, I learned that most people have no idea what a Secretary of State does. And that's okay. We're gonna work on that. Secretaries of State across the country have been called the guardians of democracy. And perhaps the most well-known slogan of our democracy comes from Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Government of the people, by the people, and for the people. We've all heard it literally thousands of times, ever since we sat in classrooms just like this. But as your new Secretary of State, as Oregon's guardian of democracy, I wonder what these words can mean today, in 2021, for us. All three of President Lincoln's ideals of, by, and for the people are meaningful, and there is much to say about each. But for brevity, I just want to focus on a government of the people, that our government is run by everyday people. We've all probably heard the saying that everyone puts their pants on one leg at a time. But after a year when we didn't necessarily put pants on every day, perhaps we have an opportunity to look a little deeper than slogans. A government of the people gives us the opportunity to recognize the basic humanity of the people in it, our capacity to make and learn from mistakes and to be capable of empathy and growth. But this isn't just about the leaders frequently mentioned in the news, but also the government of the people who are doing their work without much recognition. Local school board members agonizing over decisions about reopening schools while a deadly virus spreads. A, of the city councilors struggling to redefine public safety because of the impact of over-policing on black and brown communities. Of the county commissioners from Clatsop to Malheur, Wallawa to Curry, fighting to keep their neighbors in warm beds this winter. And a government of public health officials trying to persuade a polarized public to come together and defeat a once in a century global pandemic. And of course, a government of those county clerks blocking out the noise and just reporting the votes as they're cast. And our of the people government doesn't stop with elected officials. It's also a government of the firefighters saving homes and lives, a government of the call center worker answering the small business hotline, of the officer responding to a domestic violence call, of the public health nurse and in-home care workers nurturing the sick and dying, and a government of the sanitation workers making hospital rooms clean and safe for one of us who might need them. 
A government of these people, a government of everyday people, chosen by everyday people for the good of everyday people is definitely a democracy worth guarding. Oregon, thank you for trusting me as your Secretary of State, as your guardian of democracy. I am eager to get to work. Thank you.